Breaking news, guys. We have an update on the Young Philly case. Someone thinks they actually know the person trying to accuse Young Philly, and there's a whole bunch of stuff that's about to go down. Let's get into it, guys. Welcome back to What's the Scene Saying. Young Philly's apparent victim has been exposed as an OnlyFans star. Here is a video of a woman from Australia who claims to know the accuser, and she believes that the whole story is made up. So before I go further into this video, I'd just like to take this time to apologize to young Philly, to mm. apologize to any of his friends, his family, anyone associated with him. And I would also like to apologize to any rappers in the UK who have seen this and has been affected and now feel some type of way about us females in Australia. Wow. I deeply apologize. We are not like that. There are certain individuals that like to take things too far and it gives the rest of us a bad name. So she is saying she's apologizing. So the news that she's about to give is going to be huge. What do you guys think? Please put it in the comment section. But I will say that she, I think she's about to expose the person or she's going to think that she knows the person and she's going to expose them. I truly and sincerely apologize to all of you guys. And okay. on behalf of everyone in Australia that has sense, we are sorry. Dang. So the media is concealing who this female is. So everyone's like, who is this mysterious female? This mysterious female is Miss Emma Burns. Ooh. The one and only stripper and sex worker. What? Round of applause for Miss Emma Burns. Yasharmuta. So, why am I so annoyed? It's because Emma Burns' friends have come out and they have exposed her. Emma went to the hotel with young Philly and they both had a mutual agreement. When you have a mutual agreement, babes, it's consensual. So there's no rape there. It is consensual. Yes, if they, you know, take it a bit further and stuff, then, okay, yeah, it is a bit too much and charges can be pressed. So she's saying that it was consensual. This is kind of crazy. If it is actually this person, this is really bad, right? She said that it was consensual. But I'm saying is if she's over, if the stuff that they, the pictures they've taken of her, of the bruises and all that are too much, it it's considered non um, consensual. So this is, I still in agreement of the victim. You see what I'm saying? And I'm not saying that young Phil is guilty yet at all. That's not what I'm trying to say, but she is saying that they are trying to expose the person trying to go after young Philly. But it was a mutual agreement. Emma Burns had then texted her friends and set one of her friends, sorry, and told her friend how much of a good time she really had and that she was ready to go home. Could her friend book her an Uber? Okay. Remember that her friend should book her the Uber, mm. but she's a stripper. Please remember these two things, okay? okay. Because we're going to be very logic here. Her friend should book her the Uber. When her friend was going to book her the Uber, she then told her friend, oh, actually, I don't need it anymore. That doesn't sound like someone who's being sexually assaulted, Emma. That sounds like someone who's having a goddamn good time. So A goddamn good time. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to say this. I would say yes, right? It is, it's, con it's still consensual right now, right? She says she can book her an Uber, but then her and Young Philly started talking. You see what I'm saying? Then they move to where? The hotel room. You see what I'm saying? What happens in that hotel room is it's a little difficult, right? Because you can say, hey, he went too far, right? And she did not. She said, I do not concede anymore. I don't think this is consensual and I need you to stop. And he didn't. So like you're still like, like there's still speculation, right? But at the same time, if she wrote in her statement, this was never consensual. I never agreed to do any of this. I never agreed to go into the hotel room. I never did do any of this stuff. She's caught lying. But if she said I was consented until we got into the hotel room and he did too much, then he's still guilty. So, like, I'm just trying to play both sides right now, but this is kind of crazy. This is kind of crazy. Because if you were being sexually assaulted, you are in a hotel where mm. there are hundreds of people on the same level. Okay. You could scream. You could text a friend because it seems your friend was working really fine, Miss Mams. Okay. You could run down to reception and tell reception to call the police if your Ooh. life was at any date was in, sorry, any danger or there was any threat of your safety. Okay. Those are three things you could have done. Screaming would have probably been the best one because I can guarantee you there would have been someone next door because we know how hotels in Australia is booked, packed and busy. So I do agree with this. Right? Why didn't she yell? 
why didn't she run down? Maybe she was held down. You see what I'm saying? Maybe she was able to escape, right? I could see that. But at the same time, she could have done a whole bunch of stuff. Maybe when he fell asleep, sneak out. You see what I'm saying? We don't know. We don't know exactly what happened. They have not come out with the full story. But at the same time, there is no witnesses of hearing her screaming. There is no people coming out saying, I did. I heard her do this. I heard her do that. She did nothing, right? Was she was she held hostage? You see what I'm saying? I don't know. There's a little, there's a lot of ifs. And this is the thing. A lot of people, men or women, try to expose rappers. And what do they try to do? They try to get money from them, try to build a big case. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. But when it doesn't, what does it mean? There's all you always have to say the person's innocent until they're guilty. You can assume that they're guilty, but you cannot make a statement that they're guilty until the until the judge says you are guilty, young Philly. And I'm I'm gonna say that. I'm not going to say he's guilty or he's not guilty because we don't know yet. We don't know the full context, but what this person is saying, there's a lot of, what do you, what, what, what I'm going to say? I, I'm starting to say like, hey, maybe they are trying to set up Young Philly. I don't know. Let's keep watching. Okay. Emma, you are a sex worker. Mm. You are also a stripper. Ooh. There is nothing wrong with that because if I could shake my ass and get a little coin, I will too. So I am not bashing you for that in any way, shape or form, Emma. But it's pretty obvious your stripping career isn't taking you anywhere. Dang. The fact that you have to ask your friend to book you an Uber. Now, WA. I'm not from WA, but currently I am in Western Australia. Okay. Western Australia is not like other states in Australia. Example, Sydney. To get a 30-minute ride on an Uber could cost you about $80. Wow. In Western Australia, when I do book Ubers, somewhere that's 30 minutes away, it can cost me $20, $15 to $20. An Uber is not that expensive. So clearly, sweetheart, your stripping career isn't going the way you thought it would go. So, because it's not going that way, you now want to use Young Philly for funds. Dang. So, like, she's saying that he's using her, that she's trying to expose him. But we don't know that she's actually the victim. This is all speculation, guys. I'm going to say this one more time. This is all speculation. But at the same time, she's speaking, she's speaking a lot of, a lot of, like, hey, you're trying to use him? If you, why didn't you book Tuber yourself? You saying if you have all that money, you do you do your work. You see what I'm saying? Why didn't she do it? Maybe she was scared. Maybe she asked her friend to do it because she didn't want Young Philly to see it on her phone. I'm trying to side with her, right? I'm trying to think of both both sides of the story, but at the same time, I don't know. And you knew what you were doing, but you're not going to get away lightly with this one. Emma Burns has also done this to another rapper before. Sorry, she has tried to do this to another rapper. I don't really, I don't know if he's a rapper or a musician. Bryson, Tiller, Tyler, I, I don't really know who he is. Okay. But she has tried to do this to someone else before and it what? was unsuccessful. But now she thinks she has hit the jackpot with Young Philly. No. So she's already done this, but like, okay. So she already has a pass of exposing rappers. She already has a past of trying to get money, trying to start cases. But this is the thing. Why would she have all these marks on her body? This is the thing that blows me, right? She already has a past of trying to fake certain things, or maybe they weren't fake, but at the same time, this is the way she's trying to speculate. And I will say, right? What? Nah, bro, this cannot be true. Come on. What do you guys think? Put it in the comment section because this is blowing my mind. But hey, this might not be true. Just remember that. So everyone going around the media talking about this young Philly, young Philly, young Philly, they need to stop. Dang. They need to stop because this guy is genuinely innocent. Her friends have come out and said what she did. She knew what she was doing. So I understand people are like, oh, you know, don't victim shame, don't victim blame. As someone who has been through something like that myself as a child, mm. I will never sit there and back the predator. Ever. Dang. But 
this generation, you guys take it too far with, you have to believe the females. Because of that, you, you know, that, that saying that you guys are putting out there, that you have to believe the female, females are taking the piss. And innocent men are being blamed for things that they genuinely have not done. I will say it's for, it's for men too. A lot of people take the men's side sometimes over the woman. It's for both. It's for both men and women, and we, we and we all need to realize, right? We all need to realize that we cannot say that they're guilty, and assuming is bad too. We cannot we cannot harshly assume. We can have a thought of, hey, maybe he did do it, but we cannot say he he did. We, we cannot make a statement and say he did do it. You see what I'm saying? We can't do that. Because we don't have the facts. We cannot believe what social media is basically saying about this yet. Because the police have not come out yet with their official evidence against him. And the judge has not declared young Philly guilty yet. So we cannot say he's guilty because he might beat this. And this is the thing. The social media and all these companies, if you have bad press about you, that's this bad. If it's like all your like the lunch league thing and KSI, okay, you're good, right? But if it's about this type of stuff... You lose sponsors. You lose money. You're ruining someone's life, right? This person that's accusing Young Philly. And Young Philly might be, he might be guilty. But if he's not guilty and it's found out that she set this up, this is what I'm going to say. One, he's going to sue her, right, for defamation. But what I, what I will say is how does she have the marks? Like there's a whole bunch of things that I don't know and what could be true, what cannot be true, and this could not be her. She could she could be lying. You see what I'm saying? We don't know. But the information that I am hearing right now, it, it's looking bad. It's looking really bad. But put in the comment section, what do you guys think? Let's keep going. Now people are going to say, oh, but what about the assault charges? Let's be for real. Those assault charges came from him choking her. Okay. We are all grown on this app. Well, I hope we are all grown. Some females, including myself, and I'm sure some of you guys watching this, we get choked during sex. Mm. We get some other foul things during sex. We may not think it's foul. We find it attractive. Some other people are not necessarily into those things. Okay. Emma is clearly into that. Mm. But now it's become an issue. Okay. This is wrong. You guys need to stop enabling females who think it's okay to ruin people's lives. Mm. Mm. It is not okay. You knew the agreement when you were going into that hotel. You knew what you were there to do. You knew the man didn't want anything with you after. How is it possible that he would want anything after that? He is from the United Kingdom. Mm. I will say this. She's overreaching about he didn't want anything after. You see what I'm saying? Maybe they had a previous relationship. We don't know. But I will say it's for men and women. You see what I'm saying? Like, we need to stop believing everything social media says right away. You need to do more research. You need to look into something. Because with, even with AI... With AI right now, it's getting harder to tell if it's real or not. You see a video and you think it's real? You see what I'm saying? Remember what, remember when the Will Smith stuff happened with him eating the spaghetti, how bad it looked? But now you're looking at it now and it's a guy holding this big crab on in the boat and it looks so realistic. If you guys haven't seen it, go watch it. And you're like, what? Is that real? And then you look at it very closely and you're like, okay, that's not real. But maybe five years, you're not going to be able to tell. Ten years, definitely not going to be able to tell. So we need to be careful in what we're seeing. Okay, guys, we need to be careful um, in what we accuse before we do our research. That's, that's the number one thing I want to push to you guys. Let's keep moving on. This is kind of crazy. He is was here to perform and go back to his everyday life. Mm. But instead, you have ruined that for him. I'm not saying young Philly's a broke person. I don't know what his funds are like. Now he's stuck in a country that's foreign to him till December. He has to pay for accommodation. Mm. He has to pay a lot of things. When you're a foreigner in a country, it can be expensive. He's out of pocket because of you. Now he has legal fees to pay for. That's not fair. And we should not be enabling females that do this. And these other TikTokers that are on live bashing this man, that's not right. That's not right. That is wrong. And you are foul. Hey, she has some truth to that. I think people just believe the story. 
they they know what's popular to talk about, so they talked about it, and they try to get a clip out of it and do social media. And this is the thing, right? I will always give you guys my opinion, but at the same time, you guys need to form your own opinion. That's why I always say, put it in the comment section. Be vocal. If you don't agree with anything I'm saying here, be vocal. You're saying, hey, nah, there's no way, bro. You're watching this, this is not true, bro. Like, say that, bro. And this is the thing that I'm that I want you to realize is it is very harsh. It is very harsh for him. And I do feel bad because remember when we watched the video previously when we saw his face and he didn't believe what was going on? Now it was starting to make more sense, but I might be wrong about this. When he looked at his face, he was like, is this actually true? Am I actually getting tried for this? You see what I'm saying? And I thought it was just, oh, he always got away with it, blah, blah, blah. That was my speculation. It was my theorization. But now I'm starting to think, hey, I didn't really do anything. I'm, I know I'm not guilty. Why is this happening to me? Maybe that's why he gave that face when we saw him coming out of the, the jail. Um, But let's keep moving on. It's kind of crazy. It's kind of crazy. That is wrong. I'm not saying because she's a sex worker and she's a stripper mm. that... Oh, you know, like, yeah, it can possibly happen. Of course it can happen. Yeah, it can. Just because someone's a, you know, a sex worker and a stripper, it doesn't mean that they can't be assaulted. They, of course, can be, uh, like, sexually assaulted. But when you consent to something and you and someone have agreed to it and you guys have done just as what you guys have agreed to, it is not sexual assault, Ooh. Emma Burns. So this needs to stop. Wow. I don't know who Young Philly is. If you ask me... Name one Philly song. I couldn't even tell you. I'll probably sing something else from the UK. I don't know Young Philly. Okay. But free Young Philly and Australia, you guys need to get it the fuck together because this is wrong. This is foul. Wow. Now, we wonder why a lot of musicians don't want to come here. We wonder why. We wonder why when David O came here, he was kicking a certain nationality of people out of his booths. Is because these people get paranoid. I would say that's with all places, um, especially if you're not from the States or if you're from UK and you're visiting the States or Australia or anything. You're not comfortable in that area because you didn't grow up there. So I understand why they're paranoid, but this is going to scare a lot of rappers from going to Australia. I do agree. It's going to be scary. And all we can do, you see what I'm saying, is breathe. And we all we can do, if they want to go, they have to take that chance. You see what I'm saying? There's always a chance with musicians. There's always a chance of being famous. That something will happen. Someone will falsely accuse you that you did something. Or you, like, there's even there's even people, bro, there's even people that they thought they were my best friend, bro. They're like, dude, I know you Vortex are best friends. And, like, they're so delusional because I'll be, like, from the Cod Mobile, I used to do a lot of Cod Mobile streams. And they'll be like, bro, we're best friends, blah, blah, blah. And I'm just like, I always, say, I always tell them, hey, we could be friends, you see what I'm saying? But I don't really know you like that, man, you see what I'm saying? But we can grow to be friends. There's a lot of crazy people in this world, and we got to be very careful. So I understand why she made that statement, but at the same time, we always have to take a chance with anything if we want to get anywhere. Now, good luck to people wanting to come here for Promised Land next year. Mm. Now, you guys wonder why your favorite celebrities are so stuck up. It's because of people like Emma Burns. Mm. We need to get it together. This is wrong, what's happening to this man. And watching his name get dragged through the mud on TikTok is disgusting. And for you, for you people that think it's okay, get it together. Dang. If you see a photo of Emma, I'm not even being rude. Me, I'm not a 10 out of 10 of myself. I'm probably a 1 out of 10. And it's okay. I'm fine with that. Young Philly, not the most attractive himself, but not a bad looking person, but Emma. Hey, yo, I'm going to say, she, she's actually very attractive. She's actually a very attractive woman. But hey, she's trying to be truthful. You see what I'm saying? I understand that. Emma, you long titty ding back, water built buffalo, bad sloppy body Dang. Big girl. Ooh. You. <laughs> Babes, get it together. Get it the F together because your own friends are not supporting the rubbish and the nonsense you are doing. You are wow. foul. Ooh. You are foul and you should be ashamed of yourself. Wow. Go back to stripping on the pole Dang. and actually do something. Do a little trick or two to make some money, but like 
not it, not trapping. Not trapping is not the word, but lying on an innocent black man, bitch or foul. Wow, wow, that was crazy. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? This is kind of crazy. If you guys have not the scene saying, what's the scene saying? Subscribe to him. Turn on your notifications. Like the video, guys. Support him, guys. Support him before you support me. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Do you guys think he's guilty? Do you guys think that he's not guilty now? This is this blows a hole in the case. If this is true, because it not, might not be the same person. Might be a different person that they have there. That's the right. Put it in the comment section. But if you guys have not liked, subscribe, and turn on your notifications, please do that as well. And guys, I'll see you guys in the next one. This is crazy. Wow, this video was insane. Peace, guys. Bye.